Hi guys, welcome to a new edition of Art Life with John and Bogdan. Welcome everybody. Spring has sprung in Texas. We're having a lovely time, so much to share with you. We've got all kinds of things going on and some, a lot of things coming up. So uh, let's dive into it. But if you like what you see here today, please uh, think about giving us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so we can let you know when we have new content. But uh, let's dig in it. Let's Hi, I'm John, and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. You guys may realize that I do a lot of illustrations of, of just little cartoon heads. Uh, I started doing it for the uh, 100 day project that I did. And I started uh, thinking that they might be useful in some sort of zine work or, or cartoon work that I would do in the future. So I just, I wanted to practice. And uh, what I found was that all of the faces that I was drawing were basically me. And I thought, oh, that's creepy. You know, there's some sort of psychological thing that I was just making self-portraits. Uh, so I decided, no, I'm gonna start drawing people who look completely different from me. And uh, so I do it all the time. And I make these little, they're usually five by seven, sometimes, sometimes a little larger. Uh, and I've been creating them and I love them. And they're a lot of fun to do. They don't take long. They're not very good drawings. They're, they're meant to, to kind of be funny or to, to display some emotion. I used some, like in a zine, I made uh, Mary's Secret. And so I've, I've been able to use them in other ways, but uh, I have never made prints of them. And they've been selling lately, so Bogdan said, why don't we start making prints, getting ready for Dallas, the, the Dallas show. And, uh, and so we did. We started to make larger prints, and they look fantastic. Uh, for example, here's Ian. This one is framed, and not very big, right? It's, it's, I think it's lovely, and one of my favorites. Uh, and I said, okay, let's redo Ian as a print. Look how it turns out. I know it's got plastic on it, so it may not, may be a little reflective. But what a difference. And so this opens up a whole new way for me to, because I've only been selling originals so far and now I'm able to start branching out to sell prints so I can get more mileage out of these pictures as well as produce them in different sizes at different cost points uh, for, for different people. So thanks to Bogdan and uh, let's see how it happens because I'm pretty excited about it. Guys, I'm about to go to Alessandra Albin uh, opening reception, uh, and that is called Characters. Uh, Alessandra is a um, artist, a sculptor. Um, she does uh, fabulous, fabulous artworks, and she is residing here at Silver City Studios. And uh, she has a show this month and here in Silver City Studios, and you should come and see this amazing, amazing uh, pieces uh, she put together. But let's go there and uh, get a glimpse of this fabulous show. There is Alessandra, which is looking fabulous. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling very well. I am a little bit nervous, but I'm happy. And everything is going to be incredible. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay guys, we just finished one reception. We just finished a party being held for Alessandra Albin, uh, the sculptor, and here at Silver Street. And now we're going over to see AVM's work uh, and uh, at her closing reception for her exhibition. So uh, a night of parties, let's go. Okay, we are in Rosenberg, Texas, and our, our home search continues. We're looking at what is effectively a, uh, an old church that we could turn into our studio workspace and then a building alongside of it that they used for a kind of a daycare center, and that could be our residence. So we're gonna take a look at it now. Let's go. Okay, we've just toured the church, um, the first church uh, here in Rosenberg. Um, it was a nice space, wasn't it? It was big. It was certainly big enough. Great space. A uh, couple of issues. It looks like the out, the entire exterior seems to be asbestos siding, which I know is not a problem if you don't mess with it. But knowing us, we'll mess with it. Uh, and um, the floor of the church is slightly inclined, so it's kind of a theater style. Very slight, but enough to give you that kind of funhouse effect. Uh, there's quite a bit of, um, there's some bad roof and, and a little bit of water damage. I think most of the the, the little house there attached, uh, they used it as a school and things like that for Christian education and that. But those are perfect bedrooms. There's a bathroom with a shower, so we could we could spend the night there the first night. Um, and a big kitchen with a big kind of community room attached to it. Loads of windows. I have never seen so many windows. And that would be, I think, because the building was built in the 1800s, long before air conditioning. And they probably needed all the ventilation they could get, um, cross breezes. But uh, yeah, an interesting space, big yard. Um, and we are now on the way to we are now on the way to Branham uh, to see the second place. Uh, 
again, interesting building, not that pretty. Um, the neighborhood was okay, but uh, uh, it, did, it didn't have a homey feel to it. The one in Brenham, I don't know, it, it, it seems more industrial and yet it feels more homey. Uh, we haven't been inside of that one yet though. So we're back off to Brenham to, to look at the second place and get inside and we'll catch up with you then. Oh, you can put the, uh, uh, a can bathroom put anywhere. The bathroom on the back, or the bathroom kitchen too. Kitchen, kitchen. Oh, there's, there's no a kitchen, kitchen up by the front. Yeah, well, there's a coffee bar. Yeah. There's an office. Okay, I'm in Oh my god, Mel is amazing. Mel is a very little lady. Oh, remember the door? Remember the door that was covered? You didn't know what it is? God, this is a this is phenomenal. Yeah. Doesn't matter because it wasn't locked anyway. So much for raising the seat. Well, yeah, you can. There's not a problem. But the you have to have an Arctic and uh, because of all these walls and worrying about what might be load bearing, mm -hmm. you want to get an architect to come in. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to open some of those rooms for the baby. You thinking? You're pregnant. Well, we you. He's already pregnant. So. Okay, I'm so freaking good. This is the reception for the VAA uh, 38th uh, uh, juried exhibition that both Bogdan and I were selected for, as well as many others. And uh, it's an award ceremony and ce celebration of, of, the, of the show.
here we are celebrating uh, the artwork, we're celebrating the community, we're celebrating the volunteers and the organization. Uh, there's just a lot going on in this room. Uh, Lester Marks, this is the second time that he's been a juror for us. So Lester is an amazing supporter of all things art, as you might or might not know, um, but an amazing supporter of BAA. I am truly humbled and proud to be a juror for this group. I've been lucky enough to judge quite a few shows, both in Houston, out of Houston, even out of state, and I have never seen such high quality of the over 400 entrants that I had to review. Hi guys, I'm here with Debra. We are going to Armadillo Photo Supply to pick up our prints. And uh, I have two prints that goes to, I told you earlier, to the other art fair. And Debra has a show. Uh, when is their show, Debra? It begins on April 30th. Uh, here at Silver Sea Studios. Yes, the West Gallery. Uh huh. And uh, runs to about the. Debra, Debra is doing uh, glass. Uh, and paintings, right. but uh, these prints are inspired from the glass uh, uh, transparency, right? Right, I make my own glass and so it's inspired by all the swirls and colors that come together and Bogdan is helping me with this project. So let's see how this uh, showed up. Good morning. Does she need my No. Oh, I don't know. Rene, you know my camera is attached to me at all times. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Oh, there How's everything? Oh. Oh my god, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. for today exciting news all over fingers crossed we've got a, a whole lot a whole lot of wanting and a whole lot of wishing going on so uh, stay tuned and we'll keep you informed have a great week and we'll see you next time bye guys bye